Welcome to the committee. Mr. Chairman, would you call the attendance, please? Certainly, thank you, Chairman. First is Co-Chair Bob Phillips, I'm present. Co-Chair Stephen Archibald. Here. Representative Arthur Cavesi. Here. Representative Grace Diaz. Here. Representative Catherine Kazarian. Here. Representative Brian Newberry. Here. Representative David Place. Present. Senator Jessica De La Cruz. Here. Senator Walter Felag. Present. Senator Anna Casada. Here. Senator Gordon Rogers. Here. Senator Susan Sosnowski. Present. Antonio Lopes. Here. Caprice Ransaw. Stephen Yucci. Here. Maria Bucci. Here. Harold Metz. Here. And Alvin Reyes. Here. Okay, we have a quorum. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 17 out of 18, that's great. And we want to say welcome to Kim Brace. Great to see you here, Kim. Great to have you back, and, and God bless you. Glad you're doing well. So good evening, everyone. We appreciate the opportunity tonight to review the important issue on prison and census allocation. It's my understanding that this is the first time any reappointment commission has focused on this issue in this in-depth manner. And we look forward to hearing testimony this evening from the public, as well as detailed analysis that election data services, that's Kim Brace and Ryan, has undertaken relative to this issue. We fully understand this is a challenging issue that is being grappled with by many states across the country. And we recognize the complexity associated with all aspects relating to this complex issue. We also recognize that this is an emerging area of law. And that said, we look forward to listening closely and we'll evaluate all the information that's going to be presented to us this evening in front of the commission. And that said, the first order of business is turn this over to Mr. Brace to guide us through the reappointment. And I do want to be clear that a uh, couple of housekeeping rules, if I may. One is that we have quite a few people signed up to speak this evening. So we're going to limit the testimony to three minutes. We're going to have a timer. So try to be as, you know, as detailed as you can in those three minutes. And again, that doesn't bar you from submitting any type of written testimony. Anyone who'd like to add anything in writing, feel free to submit that to us. We have received testimony in writing and online from the ACLU, Common Cause, the NAACP, Prison Policy Institute, Representative Leonella Felix, Representative Brandon Potter, Mayor Ken Hopkins of Cranston, Cranston Council President Chris Papaluskis, I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'm sorry? Papalop. Papalopagus. <laughs> Thank you very much, Maria. I stand corrected, but I got it right. Took me a while. That's all right, you, but you, helped, you were right there. Cranston Council Minority Leader John Donegan, Mr. Stephen Frias, Mr. Leonard Jefferson, Mr. Adam Myers, Dr. Michaela Mario Lemonick Arthur, Selena Means, Brianna Remster, Ph.D., Rory Kramer, Ph.D., Rachel Bishop, Susan Council, and Sam Wallace. And everything, and everything is on the website for you to be able to reference. And again, we have the three-minute limit when we get to the public testimony. 